Welcome back. I think it's safe to say most of us have been grilling outside, and if you haven't, for sure you will be on the 4th of July. So we want to talk a little food safety right now. Paola Velez, Child Nutrition Specialist, a dietitian with the Utah Department of Health, is here to talk to us about that. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So let's start off with what you need to know. How do you know if you have food poisoning? Okay, well, some of the common signs is, first of all, stomach cramps, really bad, then having a headache, backache, also having a fever, nausea, and diarrhea. So you might not have all of them, but... Those are some of the common signs. So, but you'll know it when you have you'll it. You'll know it when you have it. Okay, so let's try to make sure that we avoid those things. You see, it starts when you go grocery shopping. So, what should we think about? So, when you go grocery shopping, try to shop in order. So, um, select first your non-perishable items, and then get all of your refrigerated and frozen items. And even when you're at the checkout, you can ask to get them back separately. So, your meat, fish, and poultry separate from the rest of your groceries. Some other quick things to check for is with like milk and eggs, check the sell by date and make sure it hasn't passed that. Um, make sure the eggs are clean, aren't cracked, and produce also, make sure it's fresh, there's no mold, cuts, or bruises. Perfect. And when you get home and you start doing the grilling out of doors, what do we need to think about when it's hot like right now? Okay, so temperature is very important. And so when you have it food out, make sure it's not out for more than two hours. And if you're not outside and it's typically especially warm, so if it's over 90 degrees Fahrenheit, um, one hour at the most. After that, it has to go back in the cooler and make sure you have those coolers cold. So have lots of ice, ice packs Perfect. in there. So no grazing for hours on end. Exactly. All right. Thanks so much for coming in. Those good tips. We'll try to keep them in mind in the next couple Thanks days. Thanks so much for coming in.